Hey, welcome everybody back to the channel, My Life in Okinawa. If you remember the last video we did, we focused on the Yasha Dragons Okinawa. They had just gotten their brand new boat. Well, fast forward, and now the boat is here at Kadena Marina. Here we have a couple of monks that are going to come and actually do the blessing of the boat. And to explain more of the process is Coach Kristen. Right, what are we doing today? We are doing a boat blessing, boat launching ceremony to protect our boat and for good uh, good spirits to bless us and take us to the finish line and so we don't know. We have a, a couple of local monks here to do the ceremony. Um, they, uh, with the help of some of uh, the locals that, um, that some of us work with, we were able to um, have them come and uh, we're super excited about it because uh, a lot of us have never gotten to experience uh, something like this and I don't know if we ever would again. Uh, so this is all to bless the new boat. We, uh, we want to make sure that we follow along with all the Okinawan traditions since it's, you know, this is technically their sport and we're privileged to be able to do the sport. So we want to make sure that we do everything right and, um, and follow along with the traditions that they would do if they were to put their boat in the water. Thanks Coach Kristen, great job explaining that. Now while they're setting up here, this was my first time ever seeing a monk bless a boat. Uh, the girls are really excited about this, as were the Kajas. I think everybody in general, we've never seen this, and we really try to immerse ourselves in the Okinawan culture as much as we can. And having them come out to Kadena Marina and do this uh, for the Asha Dragons Okinawa is pretty amazing. We are all pretty impressed um, with the uh, the pageantry and like the ceremony and uh, the things that uh, the monk bought uh, and brought to the table. So here we see the girls walking over to the boat uh, where the boat is, and we're going to start uh, the celebration and the ceremony right now. Oh. 
主に上回って真言教習大日の来育へ曼荼羅諸君少女決しては本尊大日大将どうよりもしても Thank you, your cooperation. The most important thing is the harmony. The most important thing for winning the race is the harmony among the team members. Harmony is the most important thing for winning the race. の心の持ち方を言います。And I want to tell you four ways to make harmony in the team. One, p a r e n t に感謝する。Number one is appreciate appreciate your parents. Your father and mother. Father and mother. Second, your friend. Uh, second, uh, have appreciation to your friends. And have appreciation. Uh, uh, third, uh, thirdly, uh, have appreciation to your teacher, your supervisor or boss, and leaders. Lastly, uh, have appreciation to your nation, the United States of America. As well as to uh, pay respect to other countries too. So this is four ways uh, to make your uh, team members mind uh, into one, to unite. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I brought you a charm uh, that will protect you guys from uh, evil of uh, COVID-19. There are 50 of them. So please share uh, uh, among, uh, among the team members. And such a story. This person. And this concludes the ceremony. Thank you. Thank you. So we can uh, knock that off the bucket list. One more thing I've seen here in Okinawa that's just simply amazing. A boat blessing ceremony. It's pretty amazing the things you see here in Okinawa. And that's why I like my channel, My Life in Okinawa. Uh, if you'd like to, please subscribe. Love to have you. We have over 3,000 subscribers, which is pretty amazing. And you can also follow me on Instagram. You can also follow the Yasha Dragons Okinawa on Facebook and Instagram. 
and you'll see more videos from them coming up soon as soon as the race season starts for the summer. Hopefully we get some races in. Thanks everybody for joining me. Remember, if you know anybody in the military, active duty or spouse, give them a hug or a handshake because it ain't easy. And I will see you next video. What if it sinks? It's not going to sink. It's been blessed.